I've been following Gadolin and Travel Talk for several months now, and I was curious to see what other people had to say about this blog and travel show, people that may not be as interested or invested in the travel world as I am. I introduced a few students to Gadolin and Travel Talk and spoke with them on their thoughts about these travel sites, as well as the expanding world of online media, which has become so widespread during our generation. Here's what they had to say. I was intrigued by quite a bit of the writing, and it's really nice because a lot of it's it's like a very formal journalistic style, um, but it's also like has a friendly touch to it as well, um, which makes it like easy reading and something that you can kind of just sit down, enjoy, and not feel like you're just reading a whole heavy piece that's trying to cover a lot. I thought Gabbling was a great use of online media in terms of traveling. It has everything that like our generation, the younger um, college age. Um, 20s, 25 year olds would want to know about wherever they were going, either on study abroad or on um, service trips. It um, really incorporated both, you know, what you can do for fun and what there is to do in each country, not not just you know the big sightseeing tours. They made a, a good attempt at making their sites um, well accessible and their articles and everything on a mobile platform, and because. Traveling is something you do on the go. You don't necessarily always have your computer with you, so you can easily um, go on the websites and look. Travel talk was a lot of fun because that was more of a fun going out, doing type, you know, doing things type of blog. Um, it was a lot more active. I'm definitely one of the more active people. If I go somewhere, I try to do a lot of activities. Like I like the whitewater rafting one because if I was to go to somewhere with a nice view, with a nice river, and it had whitewater. I definitely want to go and raft down it. I loved the style. It was on the go filming, which you could tell, but it wasn't like, you know, rugged, shaky camera, like we're in the middle of, you know, nowhere. It was more like, this is where we are, and we were able to still bring our, you know, technology and actually do something that looked clean and cut and put together and thought out, even though it was most likely done on the spot. It doesn't have the resources, the money, the personnel, all that stuff, um, but they did make um, a very good effort and made it look not just like you could assemble this at home on your own, um, which is the deciding factor. Somebody's actually been there and showing you what they think you should see versus what their executive producers are telling you should see. Seeing them do things and kind of going about and catching all like the slightly non-touristy type of things, the things you normally wouldn't read in like a Fromer's or um, Zagat ratings or whatever, um, different things that you use, just kind of like the local stuff, um, it kind of appeals to me a lot more. The more human element adds and helps in this particular genre. The quality is much greater than anything else you see um, in a lot of places, so it's kind of got that friendly aspect where it's something that you can imagine yourself in because the video is taken from your perspective. Um, but it's also a very high production quality that appeals to you and can you can actually sit down and watch and enjoy because it's, they've thought through what you need to see as a viewer. Um, in formal online episodes you get more of what's actually you're actually going to come across versus a scripted you know show that would be on like the travel channel on TV because um, those are all planned out not in a bad way just in a more wanting to get you to go there and do the luxurious life where the webisodes on gabbling are just kind of like, let's go and have an adventure. It allows more first person user created content, more open, um, and it kind of feeds off of what the audience really wants at the moment. To have a more personal feel, I think, adds certain credibility. It's a, it's a balance really between content and style. Obvious cons are the fact that anybody can do it, so the average quality of each piece is, is, is greatly diminished. Um, so a lot of online journalism has suffered because of that, but at the same time it lets the good ones kind of stand out. iPads and tablets with you know, 3G capabilities will allow you to you know, be reporting from the scene, but then also get video and photos edited up on the internet from wherever you are. Travel is a very mobile thing. You want to be able to access it when you want. You want to be able to access on the go, and the internet allows that.